Let us enter into the Word. In today's Gospel, taken from Mark chapter 10, verse 28 to 31, Jesus tells us, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or land for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. So today's gospel is a very, very encouraging word that encourages us to make that great investment in the kingdom of God, to give everything because when you invest, you will get back not little, but a hundredfold. But there are two requirements that Jesus is telling when we give ourselves to the Lord. First, for my sake. Second, for the sake of the gospel. For my sake, meaning your motive is very important. Why, why are you giving up something uh, as an act of sacrifice or, or some service that you are doing? What is your motivation? I remember when I uh, was journeying in this uh, discernment time before becoming a deacon, one of the things I noticed uh, uh, journeying with Bishop Sebastian was he was trying to uh, see what was really my motive in wanting to be a deacon. Was it for some uh, personal gain or some, uh, you know, recognition? Or was it really I'm seeking God's will? And secondly, was it for the sake of the gospel that is you want to bring the good news, build the kingdom of God? So, brothers and sisters in Christ, the blessings will come in so many ways. I was at first afraid to be a deacon, but one night I got up with this thought in my mind, give and you shall receive. And with that word, all my fears went away. And so I can see blessings in so many ways, not just material blessings, but spiritual blessings, even in moments of trials and difficulties, everything becomes a blessing because God has promised it. And when God promised, He will be faithful. So let's be encouraged. Let's ask ourselves, what is actually driving us in our journey with the Lord? What is motivating us? Why do we do so many services for the Lord? or be active in church or in some ministry, what is actually motivating us? Is it for the glory of God? Is it for our just uh, uh, self-glorification or recognition? Or is it out of some guilt or some fear? Or is it really out of the desire to hear His voice and to follow Him? And most importantly, the desire also to build the kingdom, to bring the gospel, the good news to God's people. God be praised. Amen.